yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. What are you having a juice box on a Monday? Kool Aid Jammer. Kool Aid Jammer. Only the best. Courtesy see the fan mail. All right, so I'm sure you guys are going to be excited to hear this. We're probably going to have daily videos all week this week again. Things are just slamming at the shop, so we got to keep it going. I got no problem staying up, editing at night for you guys. It's been freaking awesome. Everyone's been watching the videos, so getting good views, good vibes, good times. So we're going to be at it again this week going crazy we just got a bunch of tires in the mail we just got eight nt555 g2 nitto tires in the mail for neighbor you know neighbor burns tires these are the tires we've always ran on neighbor and they freaking just last forever and they make so much tire smoke and have a lot of grip so great tire for drifting street stuff anything like that we really like these nittos and then james finally got a set of tires for his truck so we got james some um, i believe this is a new 420s though so this is the nitto 420s we got these for james truck and this is like a newer version i believe tread is deep on these yeah the ones wild. that are currently on your truck are bald showing literally showing cords <laughs> so james getting some fresh nittos the crown vic is getting some fresh nittos and we've got some stuff to do to ruby this week as well yeah dude can you believe the dent no look at the radiator i know the radiator got smacked so guys, look at this. When that coupler blew off, look at the dents that it put in our charge pipe. And it even hit the radiator so hard it bent it. So what we're gonna be doing this week is chopping this wastegate right here, right off. And we're gonna be putting a 66 millimeter gate on. For those of you who are OGs, you remember we had this exact wastegate on Leroy and it boost creeped really bad. So then we went up to the 66 millimeter gate, which is a lot bigger than this waste gate, and it immediately got rid of our boost creep issues. Leroy has done amazing with the bigger waste gate, so we're just gonna change that out this week and hopefully that fixes our boost creep issue. I know it goes from whatever size this is, I think this is inch and three quarter, to a two and a half inch pipe. So it's gonna be quite a difference in waste gate size and that'll uh, hopefully fix our issues with our boost creep. So that's in store for Ruby tomorrow. Parts are getting overnighted, but today we are working on the tracker. So you going, guys know what we're doing? Going bogging. Yeah. We're bogging deep. What we gotta do right now is go get the tracker, bring it around here, and we are going to fix the distributor. And if all is well, we're gonna head down to my buddy's house and we're crossing that pond today. There's no doubt about it. No one's gonna happen. <laughs> we're we're going, going clean across it. And we've gotta pick up a scuba tank on the way, so. <laughs> We're gonna make it happen. More speed. More speed. You guys Get it wide open. We need a little bit more gas in the tank, I think. And then we need a sealed distributor. Can't more have water in there. We need to flex seal the engine. And then I'll give it a little more mile an hour if that's what you guys want. Yeah. We're not flex sealing the engine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we're standing here with the deepest bogger in the shop and we've got our distributor cap here, our fresh one from Napa. Got a new rotor. It's a new Is it the right one? Yeah. Right cap too? Yep. And uh, we're putting this back together. If you didn't know, last time on Driving Underwater Episode 1, the moment we went in the water and got distributor deep, we lost spark and the car shut off. was a total failure. So today, we got a new cap, we got a new rotor because it needed it. And we're going to seal the hell out of it with seal all. And then we're going to put it back together and we're going to go bog deep. That's how this is going down. James wanted to get something else, but we weren't allowed. Yeah, I wanted to flex seal everything, but... Me too. Dad said no. I yeah, also flex sealing the the just the engine is gonna do nothing for us. I was you don't do know that most important are... stuff, all of it. You don't know that. <laughs> I mean, I feel like if either of you owned this vehicle, you wouldn't want to flex seal. It already would have been flex sealed. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Why don't you buy a bogger and flex seal? I will. All and all right. it rolls up here with a black engine bay. I thought you, you had heard already it here first. James getting a bogger. I thought you had already rode this thing off. No. Oh, Didn't, really not that, that much feeling? water in the oil. It's just, not did, that why, much. Why don't you not, want to Not flex? that much. There is water. What a line. <laughs> James, give us one of your famous it's fines. It's fine. Okay, it's, it's fine. Then I won't worry about it. I think he was saying that as he was climbing out the door last time. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So, uh, Cooper, are you going to get a bogger too? I mean, the Tahoe doesn't really count as a bogger because it's so streetable. <laughs> Way deeper. Something that can bog deep. All right, I'll find myself like an all-wheel drive minivan or something. No, you need. You know what you need is a Subaru Baja. <sighs> I don't. Know been, I know you've been wanting one of those for a long time. Look at this guy. <laughs> he has wanted a Subaru Baja for a while. Yeah, it's just one of those niche cars that 
right up my alley. <laughs> you know, <laughs> who we saw one in traffic the other day. He's like, oh, oh, Subaru Baja. Baja. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, a you Subaru can, you Baja. Can it, you can paint a Baja Blast. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't love a Baja? You know what? I can see. Well, I love Baja Blast. What are you doing here, James? What's the plan? I was going to glue this distributor cap on. Are we using the old O-ring? No, nope, because that old, old O-ring uh, caused us our, our journey last time. Yeah, did it come with a new one? Allegedly. No, it did not. It came with two new bolts. Two new bolts, and we've got a tube of seal all, so we'll get her done. As you'll see here, we have our head mechanic, a true professional, sealing up this distributor something. Right yeah, use their finger. Can you give us the technical name for that thing? This here is, um, see down there, you have your pickup. <laughs> On this your the, distributor? This is the pickup Wobble 3000. This is the... Oh, oh God. Come on! Oh! <laughs> Golly! We can't have anything nice in here. This oh, is, she's cooked. makes the spark not go into the pickup. It, oh, it's a I think she's marker. pretty screwed now. I don't... <laughs> it didn't break. It just hit the ground. God. I think it's in there. Doesn't it look like it's in there? It's fun. Yeah, it's in there. It does seem like true professional stuff. Let me check your RTV on there. It's, it's You're kind good. of a little shy on some spots. That, it's going to right smush. Yeah, well, why don't we hit an inside rip, too, on the inside Well, because if you get it too close to here, then the next thing you know, it's getting down on that. It ain't going to spark. It ain't going to run oh, right. Oh, get it in there. Okay. Oh, it ain't going to run right. That's what he says. Jesus. i right, hold that. <laughs> Quarter tubing it up. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. I'll be honest. Watching you guys work is just a treat. It really gets uh, pretty intense. So I gotta say, James is going better than I expected. <laughs> Can you show the you camera? Look, you're doing. You're doing great. Oh yeah, you're doing your own thing for sure. Oh wow. Close my eyes. Yep. So I didn't forget it. So how you did the chains on the neighbor? You just closed <laughs> Close your eyes. eyes and <laughs> Close my eyes and put it in. <laughs> and that's how baby Oakland was born. <laughs> 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 Nine months later, James was What a beautiful out. story. <laughs> Look at that precision parking job. Not really. Nice taunt cables. <laughs> that's how you want it, right? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Doing <laughs> like a guitar. Oh, what a what a machine. Wow. have to clean out your mufflers. <laughs> Ready to come apart. James keeps covering the tank. Yeah, hey, pull, start pulling uh, Sounds like she's running better than ever. First one. They had them <laughs> swapped. <laughs> Goodness. Hey, get the knife and bottle. We're ready to vlog. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. We're going to head down to the lake. Everything's good to go. It's fine. Let's do this. It's fine. Wow. That donkey is thick. Yeah, look at that oh thing. Oh my God. It looks like a tick ready to pop. Hey, Dale the donkey. Hey, have you heard of our Lord, Lord and Savior, the LS motor? <laughs> hey, brother. Hey, Dale, how do I tune my carburetor? Do you know anything about Holly FI? He's definitely a 
a cart raider guy. Don't say EFI. <laughs> he's, he's pissed. <laughs> Listen, man, we just love EFI. It's a great system. Closed loop fueling, you can't beat it. All right, we'll I see don't you like later. the way this thing's looking at us. We'll see you later, Dale. All that one Oh, yeah. What a nice guy. <laughs> I mean, aside from him not liking EFI. He did yell pretty loud at James. James really got along. He's yelling at you talking Might about have... all that EFI stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, we're getting bog ready here. This time we remembered to put the fuel vent on top, so we gotta hold the hood. We're doing everything on a professional level today, you know? So, right, oh, almost lost. Right now, you hold that, I got the hood. James is holding up, James is hooking up the, uh, the coupler, we did have to jump start the tracker again. Battery is pretty dead, so we're leaving it running for a while. I don't think it'll shut off because I'm gonna keep some RPM in it this time on a two, three thousand RPM maybe before we bog deep into the pond, but we got a fresh scuba tank. We're ready, I mean, if I gotta be in there for a half hour, I'll be in there for a half hour. It is what it is. Cooper and James are riding on the roof today because James doesn't actually know how to scuba <laughs> despite what he said. <laughs> That he on did. his resume. On his, he resume. On his resume. We double checked his resume. He did say it, but I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going solo in the car. When you lie on your resume and get the job. <laughs> Actually, they know how to be a mechanic and know how to fly. <laughs> He's never touched a fur. He's been winging it off of YouTube the whole time. We got a fishing rod. Check out that fishing rod. 16 feet. James oh, wow. Trying to catch a bass or a bluegill while we're up there. Then you can probably cast to the shore. All right, so we got our new crowd here. Garza, give us a scale 110. How well you think this is going to go? Well, the first time we didn't really make it. Yeah, no. I know, I know you. You go back drawing board. Yep. You're, you're one to get back up off saddle. Okay. And uh, I honestly think you're going to get about halfway and all the way. But today's ever full is I don't think you're gonna make it. <laughs> wow. Wow, so you're gonna tease me like that. But, For a second I thought you had full confidence. Well, even... honestly, I think you're gonna do a way better job than the first time. I think the third charm <laughs> the third time's gonna be a charm. Okay, alright. Hildebrand, what are you thinking? I think it's gonna be an epic fail today. Oh my God. No these guys is gonna make it. You guys Hear these guys. Listen, if I if we go through, we're going right back through the other way, because you know like in a half mile. When they race, they gotta prove it going the other way in case it's like a tailwind true. or a true. tail current in our case. So we're gonna prove it both ways. Looks like you guys are finishing this up, huh? I really like the fab work on the snorkel. It's nice. Thanks. Yeah, I did it ourselves. There you go, Dan. Look at that. You really know what you're doing there, James. Top notch quality. You think today's gonna be the day, James? Today's the day. Today's the day. Today's the day. She's running clean. Oh yeah, she's clean, mean, fighting machine. All right, so we'll we look at that fuel vent there. way up there. Woo! Oh, the careful! Watch the hood. <laughs> All right. Then give me another one. Wow, I have never had more confidence in the tracker than today. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm really feel, feeling it. I feel like this is the one. Oh, the hook. The hook and book method. Yeah. Got wow. your Johnson lifter shirt on, the swimming trunks, Cooper's repping Holly LS Fest. I got the McFarlane tuning shirt. So dog. James has Crocs on. He's got his in four wheel drive, four low actually now. I only have two wheel drive Crocs from Walmart, but uh, we got the tow vehicle back. I mean, we got the full team out here today. Let's do this, boys. Any other thoughts? Ready, Coop? Rip some tape. Let's get through there. Now we're good. Oh, it sounds nice. The vent is all the way up there. We got a fishing rod. It's pretty sketchy up here. All right, this is Bogger Underwater attempt number two, Bog Deep Edition. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Do it. All right, I want to see a little more RPM. We're doing it live. Don't be afraid of the speed. I'm not. Don't be afraid of the speed like you're afraid of the sea all up here. Yep, this is true. <laughs> I got you, boys. All right. Going regulator in from the start. Oh, man, here we go. Is he gonna neutral drop it on us? Uh, 
He's got more RPM. Is he alright? <laughs> oh, he's got bubbles. Yeah, I feel him. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> he rolled it! Oh, oh no! Oh, God. oh, God, we didn't make it nearly as far either. No, we made it farther. Did it was we? Floating no, the I think the problem was that the hey, water was in far from, on your side, but not on the other. Do? I opened the door, but it shoved it shut. <laughs> oh, I tried to go faster, like you guys said. Dude, it was like one wheel out of the water. Come on, get our picture real quick. <laughs> hey, there's a pipe in here, Chad. Huh? Stand. Oh, that's a snorkel. It's your snorkel. <laughs> Dude, there was nothing I could do. I had the wheel cranked. Well, they told me to go faster. You need to have both doors open, I think it's a problem. Yeah, that's what I think, because it started Your corner was side. sunk, and this side was all lifted up. <laughs> you gonna roll it? I don't think we're gonna get it. Yeah. Yeah. Come on! Three, two, one! <laughs> God, we are ripped! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drag this thing out. We might be able to get her started. <laughs> you got it up. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. <laughs> oh, so funny. Oh, I don't think we made it farther. Cause look how high. Oh, that's the same distance. <laughs> Of its water probably took in. Oh, watch out! <laughs> watch out! Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh my god. Holy <laughs> crap! We gotta break clean that math. Trying to dry that thing out. Oh, wow! There's water jumping out of it. Right, epic. Well, now it's empty. We so epic. Like Putting the plugs back in. We uh, pulled the plugs, turned it over. A bunch of water came out. So we think we're looking good. <laughs> Come on, come on, baby. Come on, Tracker. You ready? We got plugs backwards up there. Guys, unfortunately, we're gonna have to call it. We've been trying to start this thing for a while. Sounds like it's got uh, some sort of timing issue again. I, you know, but the distributor was soaked and it was still running. So I don't know if when it was on its side, it finally creeped in there or what, but. We're gonna have to go back to the shop, you know, 
revise our plan and come back here. We might start from the other side next time. It's a little shallower and then we'll hit the deep side on the far end, you know, but it's pretty clear we got to go back and make some changes for now. So you can tell James is pretty <laughs> bummed here. Hey, you yeah. know, you dump, you jump ship pretty fast. I was leaning so far over. He's to like, I'm a dad. I'm so out. And I jump for it. I did my swan dive. Cooper went down with the ship. I liked it. I, I was trying it. to lean with it because yeah. I knew it was like off the yeah. So we, uh, we did fail again, you know, but life's about picking yourself up. But don't worry. Getting our back to our the our pond. Our antique still works. Yeah, our, everything's fine. The tracker's going to be fine. Still turning over and everything. It, it almost wants to run, but it's out of timing. Like I can feel the starters kicking back against itself. Yeah. So yeah. we got to go out. We got to go back, dry out the distributor, and you know, figure out how to seal this thing all the way. But uh, that's it for now, guys. I guess stay tuned for Driving Underwater episode three. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later. We only have to succeed Woo! once. Yeah. We'll be back. We only have to Flight succeed seal. one time. We only have to succeed one time, and we, we will be back. 100. What are you thinking, Flex Seal? We might have to bring out the Flex Seal More plan. Duct tape. Flex Seal and duct tape. We'll be back.